Hey guys, I made cute and decorative vases that are inexpensive to make because most of the items that I use are items that I already have at home. This is a collaboration video with Unicorn DIY Princess. She's just seven years old and the channel is managed by her mom and she has lots of nice DIY projects that you guys are gonna love. So the link to her channel is gonna be in the description box below. So I'm starting off with this vase that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be using a cutout poster board to wrap around the vase. I'm using this method because a friend of mine said she wanted making a vase with just a board like she used to see on YouTube but was finding it a little bit difficult to just find the measurement to get the base. So this is easy if you just put a vase inside the poster board and just wrap it all around then remove the vase and seal off the edges with tape. After I did this, I cut the bottom and the top to make sure that it's leveled. And now I'm going to be cutting a lot of papers into smaller pieces. Using this technique, you're also going to be needing school glue and water. So I mixed school glue with some water. I'll be using a balloon to give me the shape that I want for the top of the vase. I'm slowly letting out the air inside, just until it's a perfect fit. The next thing I'm going to do is put in the pieces of paper into the glue mixture and paste it on the balloon and the poster board. There are different ways of doing this. You can leave the bottom part or covered the whole thing with papers. And then when I was done, I just covered the whole thing with the remaining school glue to make sure that it comes out strong and then I left it for some hours to dry. I made another one and this time around, I covered just the top with papers. And this is what it looks like when it's dry. This is something I learned years back from the master himself, Hugo Rodriguez. He has excellent DIY crafts, particularly using this technique for vases. Now when it's dry, all you need to do is just burst the balloon and take it out. I sanded it down just a bit and then I spray painted it black and then I started drawing lines at the bottom part using a hot glue gun. This is what it looks like. And now to make it thicker, I added an extra layer of hot glue on all of the lines. To decorate the upper part, I'll be using flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree. And these flowers are really small, so that's why they work for this particular design. I'll be taking off the small flowers using a pair of scissors. I'm separating the flowers that are white with the ones that have a little bit of yellow because I'll be making use of just the white ones. And now I'm going to be gluing them to the top part of the vase using a hot glue gun. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I got these napkin rings from the Dollar Tree and I'll be making use of just one. And that's what's going to be at the top. But before that, I'm going to give the flowers a protective layer by using Mod Podge all around them. I use a generous amount on each and every one of the flowers. I let it dry for about two hours. Now all of the flowers are smooth 
and strong also and easy to clean when it's dusty. For the bottom part, I cut out a circular shape from a foam board and glued it at the bottom. And now to decorate the flowers, I'll be using these leftover gems that I have at home. They sell these gems at Walmart. And I'll be gluing on these gems in the middle of each and every one of the flowers. This is what it looks like and now I'm going to be adding more gems to the bottom part on some of the flowers just to add to the design. I forgot to mention that I used black paint on the lines at the bottom. I later only realized that I should have just left it plain. So now I'm going to be gluing on the napkin ring at the top and the vase is complete. Now moving on to the second vase. I got this vase from a thrift store for $3 and it's been at home with me for a while now so I decided to just spray paint it silver and decorate it. So I started decorating it by drawing a flower. Apart from a flower, you can draw any other design that you like on your vase. After I was done with that, I traced out the flower that I just drew with the hot glue gun. And this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to go around again the second time with the hot glue gun to give it a much thicker layer. This is a black acrylic paint that they sell at Walmart and I'll be using this paint to dab it on the design that I just made on the vase. The thick glue that I applied on the vase is very helpful because right now I'm just dabbing it on the glue without worrying about it touching the vase. As I finished doing this, I decided to add another flower at the bottom of the vase. This is a mirror mosaic tile that I'm going to be using and the link is going to be in the description box below. Now they do have something a little bit similar to this at the Dollar Tree and you can get yours from there as well. I cut them to singular strips and they're self-adhesive, which makes them easy to use. Now, because they're in singular strips, it's easy to make curves with them. I fill the whole thing with the mirror mosaic tiles except the middle part that I'm going to be decorating using a hot glue gun. I used two layers of hot glue for this design. And when it was dry, I used black paint on it. And for the middle part of the flower, I'll be covering that up using this gem. I'm so happy that I was able to give the vase that I got from a thrift store a more interesting look. Now this is what both vases look like together. Don't
Don't forget to check out Unicorn DIY Princess's channel that I will leave in the description box below. Her DIYs are so pretty and so unique and it's hard to tell that it's made by a 7 year old. She is such an adorable little girl and I'm so glad that she's able to tap into her inner creativity at a very young age. I really love how this vase has turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.